Hi, welcome to OCI Golden Gate 5 Minute Demo Series. This is Denis here and I'm your host today for this session. OCI Golden Gate is a native cloud service that gives you the ability of replicating data into Azure Data Lake storage securely in real time, at scale and in a fully managed environment. You can ingest Parquet, JSON, delimited tags and our OCI formats from heterogeneous cloud and on-premise systems into Azure Data Lake storage. Configuring ADLS replication is easier with OCI Golden Gate, thanks to automated processes and simplified user interfaces. In this session, we are going to use the default settings which will load JSON files into target ADLS account. For more details about the other formats and customizations, you can check the link in the description. Ok, let's start. Ok, we are going to start from Oracle Cloud Infrastructure homepage. So, to get to OCI Golden Gate homepage, I click on the hamburger icon, hamburger menu icon, go to Oracle Database and select Golden Gate. It will take me to OCI Golden Gate homepage. And here, I will go to Connections to create a new connection for Azure Data Lake Storage. And to do so, I will click on this blue icon saying Create Connection. Give a name for my connection, so let's say ADLS. And then select the connection type. So here, I need to select it as Azure Data Lake Storage. And then I will click Next. And um, here I need to provide my account name, I mean Azure storage uh, account name. So I go to my Azure account, go to storage accounts. And this is the storage account that I'm going to use, OCIGG demo. So I'm just going to use that name in my connection. So let's copy and paste it. And optionally, you can also provide the full endpoint. And also uh, Azure Data Lake storage Authentication types are supported by OCI Golden Gate. So it's either shared key or shared access signature or Active Directory. So you can use all these different authentication types. And depending on the selection, you need to provide different uh, parameters. But for today's session, I will be using shared key. So I need to provide the uh, shared, sorry, storage uh, account key uh, for the connection. So I get back to my account, Azure account go to access keys and just copy the key from my account okay and come back to OCI Golden Gate connection paste it here and just say create so that's it creating the connection is going to take a couple of seconds so let's do a refresh Okay, so still in process, uh, maybe uh, a few more uh, seconds. So let's do another one. Okay, still creating. So let's wait a bit more. Okay, let's do one more refresh. Okay, perfect. Now my connection is ready. And as a second step, I need to assign my connection to my deployment because when you create connections and deployments, they are actually detached from each other. So I need to attach them. So to do so, I click on assign deployment, select the deployment name, and then click on this blue icon saying assign deployment. So my connection is going to be assigned to my deployment so that I can use those connection credentials within my replication process to replicate data into Azure Data Lake storage in real time. So it will take another couple of seconds and in the meantime, I keep on refreshing my browser. So let's do it for a third time. And let's see if it is there. Yep, it's active and it is assigned. So um, I can actually now go to my deployment to configure the replication. So to do so, I click on Golden Gate, Deployments. Yeah, here, I guess. Yeah, Deployments. And this is the deployment that I'm going to use today. But you can just create a new deployment if you need by creating the Create Deployment button. But be sure that the type is big data so this is the big data OCI Golden Gate deployment type that we need for Azure Data Lake storage and in the deployment details I will click on launch console provide my username and password to log into OCI Golden Gate user interface and click on sign in
Okay, so this is the OCI Golden Gate Web User Interfaces um, homepage. And if I have any extracts or replicates, they will be listed here. But to add a new replicate, I just click on this plus sign saying add replicate. Select the type as classic and give it a name for my replication or process. So let's call it ADLS. Provide the trail file name that I'm going to use. So it's FG for my case. And for the target, I will select as Azure Data Lake Storage, and then it will list the available connections that are assigned to my deployment. So for our scenario, it is ADLS, and I click Next. So this is the connection that we recently created. And here in the parameters file, I need to provide my mapping. So either I can just use a wildcard selection, or I can specify some um, uh, tables from the source. So I go to next and here I need to provide my ADLS container name. So I'm just going to um, remove this and provide the container name as OCIGG demo. Okay, so that's the only property that we need to configure, but there's one thing that I want to show you. So go back to my storage account and I'm just going to list the containers here and you can see that there is no container in my storage account as OCIGG demo. So uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create it automatically with OCI Golden Gate. So I'm just going to say create and run. And it will take a couple of seconds for uh, OCI Golden Gate to start the replication. So in the meantime, again, we are using the default settings. So default settings are going to create JSON files and load them into our target Azure Data Lake storage account. So my replication is ready. So let's see the details and statistics. Okay, so these are the actually um, um, the inserts in my trail file and I can see that they are replicated. So these are the source and target table names. And I'm just going to come to my container, refresh it, and I can see that containers created. So I will get into the container. So this is the directory path that is also automatically created. I will get into the uh, directory and I can see the JSON file being created by OCI Golden Gate in my Azure Data Lake storage uh, account. So this is how you can actually configure your replication with the uh, bare minimums for replicating into Azure Data Lake storage. Thanks for your time and hope to see you in another recording.